as the August 9th elections, the battleground in Homer Bay County is shaping up as two front runners race neck to neck in their quest to succeed Governor Cipriana Witi, who is serving his second and last term. So incumbent women representative Gladys Wanga and former Nairobi Governor Evans Kidero have both set their sights on the county's top seat, even as residents call for an inclusive leadership that centers the Mwanainchi agenda to allow them to reap the gains of devolution. Laura Otieno has more. With a population of 1.13 million according to the 2019 census, Homer Bay County is one of the counties gearing up for a transition in leadership as a devolved unit, with the incumbent Governor Cyprian Awiti set to hang his boots and hand over to the new successor. The battle royale in an area perceived to be an ODM tough is shaping up between incumbent woman representative Gladys Wanga. Evans Kidero, who was previously governor of Nairobi County, and Mark Rabudi, a businessman, all putting their best foot forward in the quest to succeed Cyprian Awiti. Having been in Homer Bay as woman rep for the last 10 years, the first thing is knowing the people you want to serve. I have lived with them. I know them. Our plight in um, commerce, industry, and attraction of investment made me decide that let me use my connections and networks to come and work for my people. I've ran companies, I've ran NGOs, both in Kenya and internationally, and therefore I've set up a small team, very elite, and we are going to really resist any attempt to mislead financial aspect. According to the annual development plan of 2022-2023, released by the County Assembly of Homer Bay, about 470,000 people in Homer Bay County live in extreme poverty, with 489,000 people experiencing chronic food insecurity and poor nutrition. The economic empowerment agenda emerging as a strong area of concern for residents here. They want food security, good seeds, fertilizer. They want uh, somebody who will attract investments who can build a factory, a potato factory in Kabondo, cotton factory in Karachuanyo. When you gin cotton here, it means you will be able to remain behind with cotton seed oil. We are not converting sufficiently our potential into money in people's pockets. Land is already here. Land is also fertile. And the farmers are here. What we are saying is that we need to support the farmers to be able to produce more at the household level. Considered ODM stronghold, the Homer Bay County voting pattern has been along party lines, having elected 31 out of 40 MCAs in 2013 from the Orange Party and 38 out of 40 MCAs in 2017 all from ODM. The calls by party leader Raila Odinga for the six-piece mode of voting, throwing a spanner in the works for Dr. Evans Kidero, who bolted out of the Orange Party after Gladys Wanga was handed the direct ticket to fly the orange flag in the governor's race. ODM has not built a single school. ODM has not built a single hospital. So the people of Omabe wants to elect individuals who will work, uh, who will work for them. Um, it is individuals who are elected and um, such individual will be elected. Our people, the way I see and talk, engage with them, they will elect um, ODM leaders, not because they are ODM leaders, because I also hear the argument that elect a human being, not a party. But we are also human beings in the party. Even as the candidates crisscross the county, each angling to garner the majority of the 551,071 votes, the electorate in Homer Bay County will be looking for the biblical Moses that will deliver them to the land where the fruits of devolution are ripe. Mengi sana ijetimizwa Homer Bay County. So hiyo ndio maana naongea nikisisitiza tukienda kuchaguzi huu tutafute viongozi wenye wanaesasikia kilio cha wananchi. Hatutaki kuona governor mwenye tamka tu yeye pia na kwenda kufanya mambo yake. Tunataka watu wa lazima waulizwe na watoe maono. Tunataka kuona county yenye itatembea pamoja. Na 